guys, we are going to get started with our very first section of notes. I have included them for you so that you can actually, um, if you can download this and type on it, that's great. Um, if you can print it, that's great. I don't have a printer at my house, so I couldn't do that. I'd probably just be writing this on notebook paper. That's fine too, but you need to make sure that you get these notes because you will get a weekly grade for notes while we are doing things online. Another disclaimer really quick. Anything that I write, you also need to write. Probably if you're writing this on notebook paper, I would go ahead and stop the video right now and just go ahead and write what's already on the screen that you can see. So all of this English, that would be really, really helpful for you to already have that instead of trying to multitask and get it done while I'm talking to you in Spanish. All right, so if you need to stop me, go ahead and do that and get all this copied and then turn your video back on. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to spend quite a bit of time in review to make sure that A, you remember what happened last year since it's been five months away, and B, if you were a little confused last year, then we'll try to get you up to speed. So what we're gonna do for the next six weeks or so should be fairly easy, and hopefully you will be thinking, hey, I get that. If not, then um, give me a holler. Uh, you can reach me uh, by my email, which I've told you guys before is lwilson at Conley, ooh, I'm writing way too big, but that's okay, dot org. So if you have a question, shoot me an email, and I will definitely get back to you by the end of the day. All right, we're going to go ahead and begin here, and we're going to start talking about nouns, which in Espanol are called sustantivos, and adjectives, which are called adjetivos. Nouns and adjectives. Hopefully, you know that a noun is a person, place, or a thing. So the pen that I'm writing with would be a noun, un sustantivo. Um, I, being a woman, am a noun. My shoes are a noun. Adjectives, ya sabemos, hopefully we already know, are things that describe nouns. So instead of saying simply, I have a pen, I could say, I have a gray pen, una pluma gris. Um, instead of saying, um, I have a car, tengo un carro, I could tell you that I have a pretty car, tengo un carro bonito. Nouns and adjectives in Spanish must agree in both number, and number in Spanish is numero. That's kind of an ugly little accent right there. They must agree in both numero, that means they will either be singular, which is singular in Spanish, or plural, which is plural. By the way, hopefully you recognize that singular and plural sound like singular and plural, they look like singular and plural, and they mean singular and plural. That makes those two words a cognate. We talked about that in vocabulary when we talk about uh, la profesora. Sounds like professor, looks like professor, and means professor or teacher. So nouns must agree in both numero, and they also have to agree in gender. Gender is whether they are going to be masculine or feminine. And the word for gender, if I can spell in English, the word for gender in Spanish is sexo. Looks like sex, sounds like sex, and it's describing your sex if your article is masculine or feminine. Now we know from Espanol Uno, from Spanish One, that all nouns are assigned a gender, which we don't have in English. We would never say, oh, pin, that's a feminine thing. Oh, el zapato, your shoe, that's a masculine thing. But in Spanish, and you learned that in Spanish 1, that is the case. Now we're going to look down here today and we're going to talk about los artículos definidos, a definite article. We actually do have a definite article in English. We have only one. And it happens to be the word the. In Spanish, there are four separate words for the. We have el and la. These right here are the singular forms, las formas singulares. And then we have the plural forms, which are los, 
and las, and I'm going to write plural right up here, all right? So we have two singular forms and we have two plural forms. Then we have two feminine forms. The la and the las are feminina, and the el and the los are masculina. So there are four definite articles, four separate ways to say the in Spanish. And it does matter which one you choose. Let's look down here and see what we can do. We should be able to see the word chico, which hopefully we know from vocab and from Spanish one. Chico means boy. By the way, chico does not sound like boy, does not look like boy. It is not a cognate. So remember that. So if we want to say the boy, I've already got chico, which is boy. So now I need my word for the. To figure that out, I go up here and I say, okay, chico. I can tell from looking it doesn't end in an S. That means it's got to be singular. So I've narrowed it down to two choices, L and la. The way that I know is because in Spanish, if you will remember from Espanol Uno, most masculine nouns end in an O. If it ends in an O, it is generally masculino. So Chico ends with an O, so I go up here and I say, okay, I'm going to pick the masculine form. El Chico means the boy. Next, if I come over here, a la derecha, to the right, I see a chica. Chica, we should know, is a girl. I look over here and I say, okay, it is not plural. It does not end in an S. So I'm going to, yet again, choose between L and la. If you remember from Espanol Uno, from Spanish 1, a noun that ends in an A is generally femenina, feminine. So la palabra chica, the word chica, ends in an A. I go up here, I say, okay, L was the form of masculina, that was my masculine form. I will pick la because it's feminine, and la chica means the girl. I'm going to do the same thing right down here. Here I have chicos, which are boys. Pero aquí puedo ver, right here I can tell that this is plural. So I'm going to have to pick between los and las because chicos ends with an O-S and I know my masculine nouns end in an O. I'm going to add a little S here in case they happen to be plural. I will go up here and I will pick el artículo definido los. So por eso, because of that, I have the boys. And I'm going to do the same thing with chicas. I'm going to say, okay, they're plural. So yet again, I'm picking between los and las. If I look up here, I can tell, okay, it's feminine, so therefore I'm going to pick las chicas, which means the girls. All right, so what I want you to do right here is this. Every time we take notes, and when you see these two little lines right here, this is where you're going to tell me something that you learned in the note section. I don't care what it is, but something that you learned. Now, what I do care is, I don't want you just to come up here and copy this right here. I want it to be something original that you learn. So we're gonna do the first couple of sections of notes together, and I'm just gonna tell you what I would write. Um, I would probably say, um, let's see. Today, I learned um, a cognate. Sounds like an English word. I'm going to be kind of, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to write it out. Sounds like an English word. It looks like an English word. Looks like the word. And it actually means that word. And I'm going to give a quick example. You should know some right now from vocabulary. Um, you should know some from Spanish 1, like el carro. That's kind of an ugly C. That looks like an E. But el carro would be the car. Car sounds like car. Or carro sounds like car. Looks like car, and it means car. It is a cognate. Other cognates, la televisión, the TV, um, la profesora, the teacher, la pizza. That's a good one. All right, so what you need to do is this. 
This is going to be notes number one. So I'm going to put a one down there in the bottom right hand corner. You also need to do that on your notes. And then you need to keep these notes. I'm going to ask to see them. You're going to snap me a picture or we'll figure out another way to do it. But do not throw your notes away. You need to keep them in a binder or keep them in a Spanish folder. And once we do notes with a two right down here, and you'll put them behind these because you're going to use these over and over. All right, I'll holler at you later. Adios.